The first step into growing up is moving away from a wardrobe full of sneakers. While a lot of my recent videos have been of sneakers from brands such as Nike, Adidas, and New Balance, the majority of what I wear on the daily are not sneakers. I set up my shoe rack as a quick grab of what I wear quite often. Within this setup, you could find two of my more recent pair of Clarks, the traditional brown Bushacre 2s, and then this gray suede and leather variant with the beeswax sole. And then you have the odd one out, one that I have stored deep in my closet. This is another pair of Clark Desert Boots, but these ones are absolutely thrashed. They are comprised of what seems to be a corduroy upper under all that filth. The material is rough to the touch because it's so dried out. There are also a bunch of light and dark spots throughout the uppers, along with some questionable stains, all from general day-to-day -day wear. While they don't look too bad on camera, they are actually pretty gross. For reference, this is what they're supposed to look like brand new, and these are how mine currently look. This is them new, these are mine. New, mine. Like my Timberlands, this was another shoe I bought before heading off to college. Check out that video on my Timberlands, by the way. But it was one of those things where you revamp your entire wardrobe before heading out to that foreign land. I feel like a lot of people just do that. But in my four years out there, I absolutely beat the life out of these. I would wear these pretty much anywhere. Honestly, you could name one thing and chances are, these shoes have been there. With me being recently graduated, the biggest thing I've noticed is I didn't take care of any of my shoes within those four years. Like my Converse video, another video you should check out. It was almost a trend for me to dog some shoes, show their age, and then clean them. So if we're at that point in the video where I'm cleaning these up, I'm using Jason Mark's sneaker cleaner that I've been using in my past few videos. I feel like I don't need to run through the process again, but if you need to know, just check out my past few videos because I've been using it pretty religiously. The scrub gets pretty serious, and you probably shouldn't do this, but I'm absolutely saturating these with the soap and water solution. Like I mentioned before, these are seriously filthy, and you can see it all with all that gunk transferring onto the towel. And the rest of this is just a time lapse of me cleaning them up. I don't know, there's just something so oddly satisfying about watching people clean shoes up. I spend a lot of my time watching John Manalo and a bunch of other sneaker restorers on YouTube. And here they are all dry after that heavy water saturation. They are still pretty stiff to the touch, and I know they make a bunch of products to restore suede further, but honestly this is good enough for me. The whole point of this video is just to log their age and how they've fared in their lifetime. Seeing them cleaned up is just a bonus for me, and honestly I'm still going to wear them. They make for great beaters to wear to work when it's raining or snowing or something like that. But that's all for now. Let me know any feedback you may have for me in the comments below. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers too, so I'm stoked that my videos are of interest to a handful of people. Until the next one guys, thanks for watching.